Hey there, it's a screencast for the how to make a magazine online in no time post and I'm gonna talk about the um, requirements for an online magazine. So before we go any further, let's just um, find uh, a theme, a WordPress uh, design and see which of these uh, requirements are available in a specific theme. So first of all, you need to go to uh, webdesign.com and once you are on the site, click the uh, theme forest banner, site templates and uh, themes. Just click here. That done, you will be redirected to uh, the uh, theme forest uh, popular WordPress files uh, page. Now you need to uh, expand the WordPress drop down and select blog magazine. Then done. Let's just select uh, some random theme, for example, Firestarter. Just click here. And uh, we're gonna preview it, live preview. So, any uh, online magazine site should have the following uh, things. First of all, you need to make sure that you will be able to easily customize your design because even if you even if you before before buying even if you can see that you have everything in place everything falls in falls in place and you're you're totally happy you just think that you'll modify just that little thing and that little thing and that's about it in fact you will want to modify more more and more down the line so uh, you need to make sure again that you'll be able to uh, modify just about everything and that's basically usually the case because for starters this is a WordPress theme. Secondly, uh, theme forest uh, designs are uh, easily modifiable by default, and lots of things that uh, lots lots of things that you may want to modify can be uh, altered just from the convenience of the uh, WordPress dashboard. Even if not, in any case, you'll be able to modify the uh, source files which come with the with the template with the design. So again, make sure that it's easily customizable. Secondly. Sure thing, you should be able to uh, have lots of uh, categories, pages, uh, subcategories, sub pages, and so on. And that's no problem if uh, you are using a WordPress theme because this is how WordPress uh, works by default. So that shouldn't be a problem. Secondly, if you want to run an online magazine, uh, you, may, you may want to, to have some, you know, slideshows. So uh, just make sure that uh, the sliders feature is. Um, available in your design. As you can see in this design we have a slider here, a huge one, and on the left hand side over here, a little one. Also you need to make sure that uh, your design has a has an uh, author page or the the feature to hide to uh, feature authors. For example if we click on this uh, headline we'll be redirected to uh, the actual page and um, right here, if you scroll down, you can just click on the author name, Leo Bonato. You can see some uh, some bio, his bio actually. Actually, it's dummy text, but uh, you can put uh, your author's bio here, thumbnail. And here, you can see author archive, which is basically a collection of the of the of the articles that he contributed to your online magazine. All right, let's go back to uh, the home page. Sure thing, you need to make sure that your uh, well, magazine design, online magazine design, has social uh, social media icons, just like here. As you can see, there are a bunch of uh, options here. Also, it's a good idea to have different uh, colors for different categories. For example, if you scroll down, you can see that. Um, the uh, sports category is blue, the food category is sort of orange, the tech category is red, and all the articles that you can see here, or sections, have appropriate colors as well. For example, it's about food, so it's orange, it's tech, and it's red, uh, and so on. So it's sports and it's blue, just like, uh, just like at the bottom, right here. So again, having different, uh, actually specific uh, colors for 
uh, specific categories is a good idea because uh, your readers will be able to uh, easily navigate your site and uh, find the uh, sort of info that they are uh, specifically interested in. That said, you may also want to have a uh, new sticker in your design. And this template has it just here, over here. So you'll be able to um, show uh, trending topics like in this template. Also, you need to make sure that your uh, navigation bar does not uh, constrain you from adding multi-level drop-down uh, options because you may want to add more uh, more drop-downs to this category or this or this or this and so on. So you should be able to add more. Plus, there shouldn't be an issue if you um, uh, put longer text, longer titles in your categories. So just make sure that it's working okay before you buy it. Also, it's a good idea to make sure that your design is um, actually created with the with the idea that you will want to run uh, some ads in mind. So as you can see here, you have the option to uh, put up your uh, 728 per 90 pixels banner. So you can just easily add it right at the top of your page. Also, if you scroll down, you'll see other places, actually spots for for uh, banners of different size. So this section of visit uh, visit sponsors has the option to insert 300 per 250 banners, like three three items. I believe you'll be able to actually add more, but not sure if it's a good idea in terms of uh, usability and uh, user friendliness. And uh, over here on the left hand side, you can uh, you have the option to add even smaller banners, 180 per 150 pixels. And yeah, so there are like uh, three spots where you can add your banners. Unfortunately, I can't really see uh, a newsletter feature on this design, but uh, since it's a WordPress theme, you should be able to easily add it by installing. Uh, some newsletter uh, plugin like MailChimp or a Weber or something along those lines. But as you can see by default, it's not visible on the uh, on the uh, front page on the home page. Okay, so <clears throat> also you make sure that your uh, design is responsive. As you probably know, it's really a buzzword now. It's all the rage across the webs, and what that means is that your design should adapt to the screen of the device that is used for viewing the site. For example, now I'm looking, I'm, I'm viewing the uh, design on a MacBook Pro and for example if you um, just make uh, the screen narrower, just like that, you see it's changing. It's just changed to, uh, to adapt to uh, the width of the screen. So now, if you call, click on the navigation, see it's dropping down like that instead of uh, being displayed just across the width of your um, of your design. So it, it just adapts to the width, like I said before. So again, it should be responsive. Also, it should have a contact form, and this one does have at least a link to contact form. And the contact form should have uh, the capture feature that allows you to uh, get rid of, um, actually prevent your inbox from getting lots of lots of spam. So unfortunately this uh, design does not highlight it, but uh, again, it's a WordPress design, so you'll be able to add it by installing a, a plugin. So also, you may want to uh, ensure that your design has uh, the feature to um, to show featured images and this design does have it this watch this section as you can see uh, there is a um, Vimeo video here you can just click on start it so it means that you'll be able to replace it with yours one more requirement that is super super crucial you need to make sure that your design is SEO optimized what does that mean let's just um, take a look at, uh, at an example so I just click here on the headline 
I'm being redirected to a specific page and if I highlight the, the headline here the right click and select inspect element it's gonna show me the HTML code for this particular element and I can see that um, the headline of the post the article is not within the h1 tags and that's a really bad thing for for SEO because you want to use your keyword in the headline and um, that makes your uh, keyword being mentioned in the h1 tag and if your headline is not within the h1 tags it means that your keyword is not in the uh, headline of the post and it's uh, it's a negative sign for Google because it wants your keyword to be in the headline of your post and that's just one thing perhaps there there are more issues with this design so this one is not exactly optimized for SEO and the last thing is that you need to make sure that your design is um, cross browser compatible because uh, your uh, readers will be viewing your site from different different browsers like uh, uh, Firefox Opera, Safari, Internet Explorer and so on. So just make sure that um, your design is viewed properly, is displayed properly across all the browsers. There can be some differences but they should be negligible ones. So just make sure that it looks pretty much the same. So okay that's about it and that's what you need again you just learned what you need to keep in mind if you uh, want to uh, uh, create make a magazine online in no time and you want it to have all the features that sh that, that are pretty much uh, must have in that sort of uh, websites so that's about it thanks for your time have a great day if you like this video and uh, you're watching it on YouTube feel free to like it and share in uh, Facebook Twitter Google Plus, Tumblr, Pinterest, or whatever works best for you. Also, you can leave your comment or ask your questions right here. Thanks a bunch.